welcome you to our new model for the Parade of Homes in 2010. This is the Madison. It's our prairie style ranch. It's 2,100 square feet. Please come in and take a look at some of the features that we've got. Come on, let's take our tour. This is the view that you get when you walk in from the front door. It's got a really neat view throughout the back. You see we've got a lot of uh, woods in our backyard and we've got some beautiful patio treatment. I'd like to also get you outside to take a look at some of the landscaping that we did around the home. When we de decided to pick Reflection Village as a subdivision for our parade, the style of the homes that they were looking for were the period of 1940s. Um, we have sort of took that as a goal at how we set up our home. So the features that we're going to show you right now are some of the things that you'd see in 1940. I think uh, one is a specialty is the square panel doors. Uh, Brunzel Lumber in Madison. These are all custom cabinet doors that we've got in here. Uh, the square panel. On the inside you'll see wood backs and wood shelves. This is similar to what you would have had back in 1940. The feature to the drawers, if you open them up, we've got dovetail uh, connections on there and all wood interior to the drawers, as well as a soft close feature to all the drawers in the house. Countertops in here are all Zodiac and of course we've got all Kohler fixtures throughout the home including their new sink that they've got what's called the uh, under mount with a drop saddle. So when you've got your large pans in here you can wash them on both sides and not half and half at each time. Countertops are all done by Midwest Tops. Uh, in here you're going to see both molded marble Zodiac and Corian. Colleen Horner uh, did all, all of our uh, plumbing fixtures, Horner Plumbing, as well as our tile, uh, Colleen Horner Kitchen and Bath. Another design feature to our kitchen, um, we've got a stained glass overlay to the front door, so we wanted to show that feature uh, to our customers. It's a real big hit for the parade. People are really loving it. And also on the back of it, uh, for the kids, we ended up putting a chalkboard. So if people are out and need something from the pantry, they can write their list on here and, uh, and, and pick it up next time they're up. I think the other features to the home as we're going through here, um, you can see on, on the top, um, there are no um, arches. It's all squared corners. So in 1940s, you used to see some of that treatment throughout the house. We've got a, in the great room, we've got a cathedral ceiling in here. If you look at our fireplace, we've got a heat -a -later gas enclosed fireplace, um, a stone ledge by Fond du Lac stone, and it's called a dry tight lay. So you can see they're really small stones and they were able to take the mortar out of them to make it look like a dry stack. So it looks like the stones are stacked on each other. All wood floors throughout the great room, hallway. This floor was supplied by Schmidt Custom Floors. You can see it's got a distressed hand scrape look to it. It's a beautiful feature to the home and it flows all through the home back to the master bedroom and through the dinette area. Our featured dinette, um, we've got a step ceiling in there. We followed the same ceiling treatment um, up on the ceiling as we did in the archways through the home and I think uh, this is a place where you can really see the 1940 style casing and base that we've got around the doors and windows. You can see that there's a, a six inch head detail on the top, three and a half casing and six inch baseboard. Uh, I think it really the feature really shows off with the white woodwork with the stained doors. And when you walk in the house, you can see we've got tile that flows from as soon as you come in all the way back to the back door. This is also a product from Colleen Horner and Bath. Um, you see there's a small little desk here, so when you come in the, the garage door, you've got a little chalkboard here. You can throw your keys, incidentals here, and just a mini desk back here. Just beyond that, we've got a set of lockers. There's some upper storage. Of course, you're hanging and then there's some lower storage down on the way here. Coming back towards the laundry room, it's got a nice rear entry door from here 
a closet right when you come in and of course a double laundry I'm sorry double uh, sink for the laundry room and then a washer and dryer setup that we've got here you can see our back hallway here we've got the little powder room got a molded marble uh, top with a vessel sink and a unique uh, cabinet treatment that we've got back here Steve Weninger that does all our painting and staining of our homes uh, I think uh, just the painting features throughout the house with the painted woodwork and the stained doors really adds to the feature of our homes. This model has its th three bedroom or two bedrooms with a den option. This We set it up as a den. There is a closet behind me and we've got all wood floors throughout their den. The stairway. It's the same type of stair rail system that you'd see in a home from 1940s. We've got the square spindles as well as a little bit of an architectural design feature that we've got through here. We've got the main bath with a sterling tub, a zodiac with a undermount sink, and the toilet feature in here. Right next to our bedroom number two, a good sized bedroom, ceiling treatment and same type of uh, casing and base with the stained doors. I think it really adds a lot when you kind of take a look at how those doors pop with that stain and paint color. I think they really show off nicely. We're entering the suite. We've got a lot of compliments on our Anderson windows. The views from the master suite as you walk in with the woods behind. We've got a ton of people just loving the view. Also a little transom over the master bedroom. Is a, is a unique treatment. Cathedral ceiling in the master. Now we're going to enter into our master's bath. Just entering the master bathroom, you can see the shower that we've got here. It's a walk-in shower, um, panel glass, all tile, and it's uh, got the uh, oil rub bronze features to the Kohler fixtures. There's a nice little seat in here. We had a one uh, person with a back problem that uh, really loved that shower seat that we had in our home. So our master closet in here, um, we're sort of showcasing some of our featured MBA builders that helped us uh, with this home. So we've got them all listed here. So if people want to come out and see the people that worked on our home that are MBA members, uh, that's our list that we show on our model. Closet features in here, all about organization. Uh, they do all of our homes. Uh, people just love the detailing that they do. And it's not when you don't have an oversized closet, you get a lot of use out of it. I'd like to show you a few features of our home back here. We had Brett Ochtenhagen do the landscaping for our parade of homes. You can see the unique patio that we've got here. When we first decided to uh, work with them on the home, we came up with this beautiful design We've got a lot of people that end up on our patio here and I think it's a nice view to the rear of the house as well. You can see that we use a smart side siding and the one feature that a few homes that or no other home has is the tape, tapered uh, corner boards. We start at the top, we cut them all. That means each individual piece of siding needs to be cut uh, by itself. You can't just stack them. It's a treatment that I saw in the homes in the 40s and that tapered uh, corner boards really kind of add a lot of features. The rear of the home we've got a few different sidings on here. Um, we've got some horizontal uh, board and batten on the top gables to the rear. We've got a six inch uh, smart side as well as a three inch and that kind of characterizes all the right way around our home. There's our walkout uh, to the back with the lower back patio. Show you the entryway to our home with the beautiful pavers and the landscaping by Brett Ochtenhagen. You can kind of see also the water feature that we've got in our home. It's uh, one of the only ones that I saw in the parade. We've got five different materials that we used on the exterior of the home. Again, to the front we've got the board and batten with the, which, with the large brackets. Just below that we've got a, a smart side clap siding. Uh, that's the clapboard that you see. And then just below that 
is that Fond du Lac stone that we've got inside and outside the home. On the outside, we went with a conventional, but it's a tight lie, so it looks like those stones also kind of sit on top of each other. Uh, upper dormer, it's a false dormer, but we've got some three in siding on that. Clapboard next to that. There's that beautiful kitchen window. People really love at that kitchen sink looking at that large window. And then six in siding below. And kind of follow the lines across the home. It's a beautiful look that we come up with and it. it's really Max style from 1940. We'd love to have you come out to this year's Parade of Homes. Um, the model hours are Sundays from 5 to Saturday and Sunday from 5 to 11 and weekdays from 4 to 8. Um, afterwards the parade will be open on weekends or you can contact us. Please call 262-392-9197. Again, Woodhaven Homes. Thank you.